Good morning, children. Do you like pet animal? Okay. How will you look after it? What will your pet eat? Where will you keep it? You like pet animal, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Now we are going to see new chapter. House mouse. New chapter. House mouse. Here, one lady. Her name is Mrs. Melody. What's her name? Mrs. Melody. She had no children, no friends, no cat, no dog, no parrot, nothing. She lived alone. What is the meaning of alone? Lonely. She lived lonely. She doesn't like to speak anyone. She had no friends, no children, no cat, nothing. Okay. When people said good morning to her, she looked angry. Because she doesn't like to speak anyone, no. So she won't speak to anyone. Okay. One day she cleaned the house, wiped the windows, polished the furniture. But nobody ever came to see it. Under her sink, there lived a little mouse. Under the sink, there lived a little mouse. He was lonely too. He did no harm in the house. He didn't hurt anything. He was he also lonely. He lived under the sink. Okay. He found all his food out of doors in the lonely garden and one day came indoors to get some company. He didn't harm anything. But she didn't like anything. No. While cleaning the house, she saw a mouse under the sink. When she caught the sight of him, she cried out loudly in fright as if a tiger had come into the kitchen. She shouted loudly. She tried to frighten the mouse away. But the mouse didn't stay away for long because he was lonely. So he came back to Mrs. Melody and lived under the sink and tried to keep out of her way. She tried to frighten the mouse away. But the mouse was also lonely, no issue. So again it came and lived under the sink. Okay. One day... Mrs. Melody spent the morning dusting everything in the house. She is cleaning her house. Okay. Afterwards, she washed the dusters and hung them out to dry on the clothesline in the garden. Then, she emptied out the soapy water but dropped the soap. When she bent to pick it up, she slipped and fell on the kitchen floor. The mouse was scared to find Mrs. Melody lying on the floor with her eyes shut. What does it mean? Shut. Closed. Because mouse lived under the sink only no. So the mouse was scared to find Mrs. Melody lying on the floor with her eyes closed. He ran round and round her. He touched lightly her chin but nothing would wake up her up. Melody woke up but she could not move. After some time, she woke up but she could not move. She saw a little mouse. Oh, little mouse, little mouse, if only you were able to help me. If you were a cat, you could call or bring neighbors. If you were a dog, you could park and howl till somebody came. If you were a parrot, you could shout, help, help. But a mouse can't do anything at all. She is thinking, bad. But the mouse did not want to let her down. He ran out into the garden and looked around. On the clothesline, Mrs. Melody dusters were blowing in the wind. Then the mouse had a great idea. He ran up the post that had held the line and began to nipple at the dusters. What is the meaning of nipple? Bite uh, gently and repeatedly. Okay, he started to bite the dusters. He bit till the first duster looked like a big hedge. 
then he attacked the next and nipped into an e the third duster become an l and the last a p see the picture help now help hung on the line waving in the wind the mouse had proved smarter than a cat a dog or a even a parrot isn't it yeah now the neighbor saw it from her window she shouted something is wrong at mrs melodies in a minute everybody was running to mrs melodies the mouse went back under the sink so the doctor arrived and then the ambulance also mrs melody was taken to the hospital now mrs melody had broken her leg everyone was kind to her and the neighbors brought her sweets and fruits and flowers mrs melody began to smile when she saw them coming and she also smiled at the other patients also she became a, she became quite a popular old lady in the ward room in the hospital ward means room in the hospital she became a quite she became quite a popular old lady in the room but the neighbors asked what we can't understand is how you ever hung the message on the clothes line when your leg was broken if we had not seen it you might be lying there now mrs melody shocked what message she asked to them they brought her the dusters and laid them out on her bed help she read she read because the mouse only did all those things no she doesn't know so she is shocked and asked i believe it was my mouse it mrs melody now when she she understood it i it was my mouse then mrs melody came home people came visiting the house mrs melody introduced all of them to the mouse now the mouse was felt a little shy there was so much so much unexpected attention what is meaning of unexpected not regarded as likely to happen okay but when the visitors had gone away and only mrs melody was sitting together in the kitchen then he was on cloud nine what is the meaning of cloud nine very happy he was very happy because he heard her telling him that he was the cleverest mouse in the world and she meant to keep the dusters for ever to prove it she told them he was the cleverest mouse in the world so the mouse was very happy okay so don't underestimate anyone okay children i hope that all of you understood the story thank you